Good morning. Good morning. Good. Yes, today's story is about a boy, a boy or a man called Pupu. Okay, he is a horse seller. Okay, so today's story is horse seller Kupu Sami. And I have taken the story from this book. Already I took one story from this book. So today also I have taken this story from this book. Okay. Now, horseman Kupusami. There was a small village town. It was called Kullupura. And the people, so many people lived. And you know, in a small village, people, they do a lot of businesses. Farmers will be there. Okay. And horses and then bullocks. Okay goats and hens they do they use it for their farm also and they use it for their business also okay and uh, like horses bullocks and all they carry people no and uh, they look after the hens also they have a small farm where the goats and the hens they look after so they get eggs also from them okay uh, like this, they were living, these people were living in that small village and that village is Kollurpura. And there also, there was this man, our hero of the story. His name is Kupusami. His father lived in this small town. You know, his father is a very good businessman. What business he does know? He actually has a lot of horses. He will buy horses and he will sell them also. Okay. Eh? So that is his business. Okay. They, he had a son named Kupusami and a daughter called Sendamari. Okay. This Sendamari is a small girl. She is just studying in a school. But this Kupusami is a, a college going student. But what is no this kupu? We call him kupu kupu kupu. Okay, his name. So this kupu, he is a very lazy boy. He never likes to go to college. He never likes studies. Not at all interested. His I'm parents. Interested. You are interested. You are a good boy. But this kupu is a very 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 lazy boy. He doesn't like to take his books. He doesn't like to go to college. Okay. His father, no. He's a very big businessman selling horses and all, no. So he will keep on telling him, Kupu, don't be like this. Get up. Go. Go and study. It will be very useful. Otherwise, you are wasting time. Go, Abba. He say, morning, if we, no, he will be lazy. Why oh, are you disturbing me? Why are you waking me up so early? Appa, I am not going. I am not interested in studies. I don't want to study, Appa. But his father, no, he was feeling, no, 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 no. He used to give a lot of advices. But did he listen, Kupusami? Nah. He, what will he do? He will get up very late in the morning. Uh, eat nicely whatever uh, available food in the house. He will eat everything. Okay? And then he will go out. And like him, there are so many other friends like him also. They also don't go to college. So what they will do? They will go roam around the park, go to movies, say eat, eat outside. Okay? Whatever money they have, they will spend like that. So, but this girl, no, his sister, she is very intelligent. She will listen to the father. So, no, 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 I am going to school. She will get up early in the morning. She will do everything, okay, help his father. Then she'll go to school. She is very intelligent. But this kupi is just opposite to the sister. So, father, no, he was also becoming old. So he was advising Kupu, be don't like this, be don't, uh, you just start at least, come and sit in my office, you listen, uh, you listen to me, 
okay i will teach you business if you are not interested in studies at least you sit with me learn the business it will be very useful is and go up to oh, your bore very bore i don't want to do so this made the father you no know, very sad because no father and mother only you know they look after the children they want the children to study well and then come up in life you no know? they also want them to go to big office study work earn money like that you no know? but this kuppu's father was worried he was so worried you what will i do with this kuppu how will he learn anything i am also becoming old he kept on thinking about kuppu one day he fell very ill he said i don't think he called okay he became worry 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 he keep on worrying 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 no so much it started affecting his health and the daughter sendamari used to sit with father appa appa don't worry appa anna will become all right don't worry whenever she tells he will be okay for some time but after some day he will be so sick he won't even get up from the bed now uh sister called the brother kuppu anna kuppu anna please look at father he is not feeling well at least listen to him now but mm, did he listen kuppu na 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 he said why father was why is my son kuppu doing like this why is he be behaving like this he kept on worrying and he became very sick he was bedridden he can't even get up he can't even sit and eat like that he became so he called hello come welcome shri hari happy pongal shri vidya welcome welcome i started the story happy pongal ah today is pongal no nalaki pongal nalaki pongal nala la 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 like yeah we will finish the story then we will talk நாங்க இன்னைக்கு வெளியில பேட்டர்ல போய் வாரிசு படம் பார்க்க போறோம் அதனால நாங்க இன்னைக்கு ஜாயின் பண்ணல அது ஹாப்பி बर्थ ஹாப்பி பொங்கல் சொல்றதா கால் பண்ணு ரெக்கார்டிங் ஓ சூப்பர் சூப்பர் பொங்கல் நல்வாழ்த்துக்கள் ரெண்டு பேரும் அழகா ஒரே மாதிரி Dress பண்ணிட்டு பியூட்டிஃபுல்லா இருக்கீங்களே நான் வாரிசு பார்த்துட்டேன் பா துணிவு பார்த்துட்டேன் வாரிசு பார்த்துட்டேன் சூப்பரா இருக்கு ரெண்டு படம் எஸ் விஜய் அஜித் அங்கிள் அண்ட்ஃபுல்லி வெல் வெரி Awesome before, but now I don't like him. Okay, we'll finish the story, okay? Okay, mm. continue, auntie. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay, so uh, the father called Kupu. Kupu, Kupu, come here. I don't think I will live more days. Look at me. I am becoming very sick. I may die in a day or two. Okay, but before I die, i want to give you some instructions you can take me as advice or you you if you do this okay just listen to me once so kuppu said okay he was just sitting angrily sitting next to father then the father said kuppu see when after i die you only have to look after this horse business okay you have to take care of that because your sister is very small okay so you will be the one responsibly of to take after this business for that i will give you a small advice so kuppu was looking what up he said see you have to because you don't know the business you have not sat with me you have not learned anything from me now at least listen to some learned persons okay for elder people who knows about the business okay get their advice 
and also after you get advice from them you don't have to follow them fully you use your brain and think which is correct which is wrong and then act according to you okay this is the instruction given by his father kupo no he listened half heartedly as usual he listened only half the thing he left the other half so the first part he listened what was the first part you should go and ask get advice from the four elderly person okay who knows about the business that it came into his mind okay and then what happened he was after few days his father also died so no everything fell on his head so he has to start looking after the business so does he have any elderly people contact no one okay so what did he do he called his friends his friends also like him only okay so he called hey come on i'll give you job man whatever you, his father has earned money that was also there and lot of horses were there also so he said come on come on you be my advisors so whom did he call he call all his friends so four of them came and joined under him so they were happy because you no know, they don't know anything but this uh, kupo was not even bothered whether they know the business or not he was not at all bothered he wanted his friends to be with him so he called his four friends and he started doing the business but did he know business nothing he was simply said slowly 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 all the money from his uh, whatever his father has earned everything he started spending 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 and once the money is gone he started selling the horses so how he but he remembered i have to ask four person so what he will do you will ask his friends for advice friends also know they don't know about the business and all so he said okay yeah, go this whatever money <coughs> the other person no tells okay okay take it take it so he used to sell all the horses with for very less prices so all the good horses were gone slowly he was losing all his horses so by this time the sister was telling anna anna don't do this anna ha eh? please anna uh, whatever appa has told please remember and do it but no he was arrogant with his sister hey, go you go and study you you have to go to school no go go to study you look after yourself don't come and interfere in my work so he used to shout at the sister also sister was also very she was also feeling unhappy what is this and not doing like this so every day he was losing money and also the horses were also becoming lesser and lesser and lesser he was not following anything whatever the uh, advice given by his friends he used to take it as it is and then he was doing he did not listen to the second part what was the second part the father told he has to think use his brain what is correct what is wrong then take a decision he should not just listen to he the other people but that he did not follow so everything he was losing so finally he was left with only one horse so he has to sell that horse also by the time all his friends know they came to know that kupu doesn't have money okay so what did they do will they stay with him no because they won't get any salary okay now he is left only with one horse so what they did they just left him they took whatever thing from uh, kupu they just ran away they absconded they don't want to come and talk to him so he went and search for his friends but his friends have gone to some other village 
So he does not know what to do. What to do? All his four friends also, they took everything and then they ran away. So what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? He was just sitting with that one horse. Okay, you what to do? What is this? Why I am like this? Huh? Why nobody, um, I can't, I have to go and sell this one horse on my own. I, what to do? He was sitting, sitting. Sister also feeling, why is my brother like this? Brother, please, okay. It is good you are listening to others, but you should also think and do, but you have left everything. Now, what can we do? Uh, then uh, I said, okay, the last horse, somehow they have to sell. So one old man came and told, why don't you sell this horse? Uh, go to the next village. Okay, there is a big fair, like a uh, big market is there. Okay, there the people will come from all the other neighboring uh, villages also. So a lot of people will come. So if you go and take this horse, that is a, another 10 to 15 kilometers away. They don't have anything else like transport and all, no bus, no train and all. They have to walk only. But this old man said, if you go to that village, the next village, where there is going to be a big fair, a big market is there, people will come and buy your horse also. And it will go for a big price. So why don't you take this? So Kupu was, ah, somehow I have to sell this horse and get money. The sister said, don't sell this uh, horse, Anna. We'll somehow manage with this horse. We will work hard. But he said, no, no, I want to sell this horse also. So the sister said, can I come with you? He said, first he said, no, no, you don't come with me. Why are you coming? No, 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 because it is very far away. I will get some food. I will prepare some food also. So on the way, we, I can also take care of you. So both of us will go to the market. So he said, okay. So what they would do, both of them, they sat on, sat on the horse. Okay. And they started riding slowly. They were riding, riding, riding. And then they crossed five kilometers. After five kilometers, there was a man. He was just walking on the road. He looked at them. Hey, what is this? Both of you are sitting on the horse. Poor horse. It cannot walk. So he just said like that and he went away. So Kuku said, oh, you, you, we should not sit on this horse. So what did he do? He immediately jumped from the horse. Okay. But uh, he told sister, you sit. You sit on the horse. Okay. And then they were both were going. Again, they continued the journey. Then after some time, then another man stopped him. He said, what is this? Huh? And, uh, only the, you are walking alone. Why are you walking alone? And poor horse, it is carrying the your sister, what, whoever it is. You are, the horse is looking very weak. How can you sit on the top of the horse? So he immediately, he never thought anything. He just listened to that other man and he told the sister, sister, get down from the horse. So the poor sister also got down from the horse. Now they both were walking, walking, walking all alone. And he was feeling very tired. So he could not walk. So he, what happened? He again climbed onto the top of the horse and he sat on the horse. Then he was walking. Suddenly they were about to reach the village. There was a water tank where the girl, ladies were washing their clothes and all. One woman carrying a pot looked at him, looked at Kupu. What is this man? Poor sister, she is walking all alone and you, a big man, can't you take care of your sister? So what happened? Immediately, he said, okay, I have to listen. He just got out from the horse. He doesn't even think for one minute also. So he was just listening to all the people who came and talked to him. 
the sister both were walking 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 the sister was telling why is my brother so confused okay whatever others are saying is just listen so they both were walking at last you know there was a woodcut he was running coming back gasping <laughs> and then he was walking fast and he crossed crossed whom both the coop the sister and the horse then he looked back woodcutter what are you doing where you go where are you going no kuku answer no no we are coming from the village we have to sell this horse so we are going to that particular village to the fair to that big market so the woodcutter said hey even i am going even i wanted to buy a horse for myself okay now kuku was happy ah you want a horse you want to we are going to buy a horse why don't you take my horse even we are planning to give away this horse but the woodcutter looked at both of them he looked at the horse can you tell me and what will be the uh, answer from woodcutter can you just guess what he would have told the horse is poor Mm, yes, yes, you are coming nearer. Yes, you are coming nearer. He said, "You both are looking very weak. You are so lean, okay, and you can't even walk. Also, by looking at you, I can feel that you are very weak. You are so thin. You are looking so thin." and look at the horse when i look at the horse also and all the way you are coming you are coming from your village and by looking at the horse also uh, if you are thin also if the horse is good the horse should have carried you both should have sat on the horse and then you would have come to the village to sell but since you are walking beside the horse i think your horse is also become old i think it does not i don't think it is uh, having any power to run or do any work i think it is very weak so how can i buy your horse he told like that now kupu realized so cho cho go but though the horse was looking good because of his reaction what the other people the other woodcutter said yeah your horse is also weak i cannot buy it they come to the conclusion like that so now kupu realized oh now i made now i know what i am doing okay i have been listening to all the people but i never used my brain to think which is correct and which is wrong and i should take whatever action i should take it on my own i can't just keep on listening and also i should have people who who they know the business correct business the horse business and all i have to get people from them only i have to take advice i cannot just take advice from all the people those who are walking on the road also okay i must also start thinking then he realized now the sister was very happy appa anna has now understood okay now he they both decided we will not sell this horse we will take it back okay with this horse i will work hard using this horse then i will buy more horses so they both sat on the horse okay and then they rode away to their village okay this is the end of the story did you understand vian no ba what you did not understand tell me i don't know what the don't understand what you did not understand selvi did you understand vian did not understand uh, 
Uh, tell me. I don't understand why the uh, why is it uh, the teenager boy sell the horses? Because he has to sell, he has to get money, no? He wants money, no? He has to do oh, business. But why he put it in the less price? Because he lost all the money. All his money is gone. All his horses were gone. He sold so, everything. So that's why he have, he have less money. Yeah. Because he don't know the business at all. He does not know how to do business. Because he has not learned anything from his father. And the father also gave him one final advice. Take good people's advice who they know the business well. Okay, you have to go to the correct person and get their advice. And you think, okay, and he did not go to college, he did not study properly, so he should, he cannot think also. And he just blindly listened to other people. Then what happened at last? On, when, on the way, when he went to the market, so many people started making. Why are you sitting on top? So he got on from there. And then he, the other person asked, why, are you, why the sister is sitting on the top of the horse? So immediately he told the sister to get down. And when they both were walking, they don't know anything. He can't even think. Okay, he was just listening to all the people okay, who do not give proper advice to him. Finally, when the woodcutter came and told them, okay, because you both are walking, horse is a very powerful horse, no? It will look thin only. Have you seen fat, fat horses? They, horses, they run very fast, okay? So by looking at the horse, you cannot just tell whether it is a good one or not, okay? But this horse was a good one only. But the woodcutter said, I cannot buy this horse because it did not take you, okay? You both are weak and I think either your horse must also be weak and he just went away. That time only he realized, oh, I should think I know about my horse, okay? I should not just... Listen to the people, other people. Now you understood, Vian? Yes? Yes. Today I'm going to watch it. Today I think I'm going to watch a movie in home. I didn't even plan a ticket. So okay. you can watch it. Over. I'll just stop the recording. Hold on, Vian.